Can you talk about the, the kind of makeup of the team, as it were? Has that always been the same? Who's played what position and how did that form for you? Uh, no, it, it changed and evolved quite a bit. So a very early development I had at, um, through uh, City of Yarra funding at, out at Richmond, we had a team that was a team of actors that was more, um, had more diversity in terms of age. There were probably, I don't think there were probably three or four in their 20s, a couple in their 30s, in their 40s, and then one, um, yeah, so it was more sort of diverse that way, but it had more of a focus on that kind of feisty, youthful, sort of grunty energy. And then as the play evolved, again, through conversations with Mark and, and me just digging into what I was really exploring, we thought, okay, let's, we, let's shift it up. We really wanted to look at older bodies mm. on stage. So women, um, you know, with, with a bit more life under their belt and who maybe you wouldn't normally see being so physical on stage because normally highly physical bodies on stage you associate with dance and they're nearly always young. Um, so, yeah, we thought, okay, this is interesting to take it older in terms of what we see, but also the energy of what they're bringing. And the content of the play started to be about, a lot about endurance, um, you know, as a woman, as a human. So that started to feed in. And then yeah, we, we, we gathered the final sort of team of five um, as, as, as I prepped for that, for the actual production that went on at Northcote, yeah. Um, we had a great development at Malthouse just before that and just one cast member swapped out who couldn't do the final one, but we ended up with a great team, yeah. Mm -hmm.